Thank you for purchasing a ram hunting blind. Today we're here to do the initial setups of the ram hunting blinds, step by step. Step one in installing the ram hunting blinds is cutting the two tabs that are left in your door. There'll be one at the top here, and there'll be another one at the bottom. Any hunting saw or jigsaw will be able to cut those two tabs, and after that we'll install the rest of the door. Now that we have the door cut, we're gonna install the door handle and the door shelf, which I have underneath between these two handles. All the holes are pre-drilled, and this bracket, or the shelf goes underneath the door handle and we'll go here on the inside and outside of the door like we have on this blind right here. Now that we have the door handle on and the bracket on, we're gonna put the receiver of that bracket onto the blind itself. Next step we're gonna do is install our door latches. And the pre first piece we're gonna do is the collar piece. And you can see there's a big hole and a small hole and that big hole pops in and then you pop your, into the, the nipple piece or the small piece in there and then you run your handle through. And then we'll install everything on the back side to hold the handle in place. To install the inside handle, what we're gonna do is you're gonna put your washer on first, then your nylon nut, that'll hold everything in place. Then you do your regular nut, you put your handle on, and then another regular nut. Now these two nuts are adjustable, so depending upon when you close it and wanna close your door and hold it in place, that's adjustable in or out to whatever um, tension you want in it. Now that we have the door installed, we're gonna connect the two halves. And what we have is in the center, there's a flat spot here in the middle. There's two flat spots here and there's two at the very end and then four going down the side. What you're gonna to wanna to do is pre-drill your holes right in the dead center of that middle of that flat spot because that'll be how we connect the two halves. To connect the two halves, you got a big V half, which is the, wind, or the, the window side and the door side has a small V putting one over the top of the other, making sure it's in place. And then you're taking a quarter inch drill bit, you'll have a guy inside and we'll drill the holes through both sides to connect the two halves. Now that you have a guy inside, what we're gonna do is you're gonna lift up on this door side to get both bees in place. Because all your holes are pre-drilled and we're gonna start right at that middle, middle one right at the top of the, the two halves and we're gonna drill that one in first and put the bolt in. So Scott, you can push up on, on that. It pops everything in place. He's gonna, we already had that pre-drilled hole so he knows right where to go. And he drills it up, hold it, you have the guy hold it in place. What we'll do is drop that bolt through there. He'll put the nut on. You've got your center one in place. Yep, go ahead. We've got our roof all installed now with the five bolts and a reminder, a note, you start at the, the middle, the top one in the middle, and then you do your next two is two and three, and then your very ends are four and five. That's how you install the bolts. Now we're gonna work down the side. And when you do the side ones, you wanna make sure you, you have somebody out here, because I have Scott inside, pushing to make sure this bottom is lined up and this flange is in. So when he comes through with a bolt, you're running through both these, because he has the pre-drilled pre holes in.
Now that we got the two parts connected, next thing we're going to do is install our window clips, but we're going to put the screws in first. You have six dimple marks that will put the clips in, and they're marked on your blind, so you just go to each window, and you install your window clips right into the dimple marks. Now we're going to install our window clips. Uh, you can see the little hole in the window clip, so you just take that, line it up with the, the screw that you just installed, Next step, after you've had all your window clips in, you're going to install your window hinge. All the holes are pre-drilled already for your, for your hinges. So you can go around. And drill in your machine screws. On top, and then I'll put my bottom hinge on. And then install the window. You're going to install your windows, and there's a little notch out right here in the bottom of the window. That's where your bottom hinge will go when you install the window. We put our machine screws in, so you just take your window, pop it into the top two screws. This is a whole window installed. We have our clips in, the six clips that holds the window tight against, against there. Um, Obviously your hinges and to open it up, you just turn your clips and your window opens. And what we have on here is a seal. You get a roll of seal material, just run that seal material right at the edge of your window all the way around it. So when your window gets closed and clips shut, it'll push up, up against that seal to hold it tight. Now that we install all our door handles and latches, we still have to put our seal on. And this is the roll of seal material that'll come with it. And basically that's all it does, as you can see, it has, a, it has a groove in your seal, and it just kind of snaps on and pops on the door edge. It just gets pushed on, and you'll just measure it out to the end, and then just do any type of heavy-duty scissors or snippers will, will clip it off and just run your seal all the way around, and then in between your, your hinges, which will seal that whole door. When you have that seal all the way in, and with this big door handle that we use, when it's closed right here on this, this uh, the part of the seal, you might get a little light gap in there. So what we've done, you just can take a little scissors, and you can see we just cut a little flaps in there so when that handle goes closed, it'll still keep that light out because this will move with it. 